Hello everyone, welcome back with another interesting crash course. It's been a while now we did a crash course after cybersecurity for beginner. Lot of people has requested me to do malware analysis crash course. And for them I say the waiting time is over. So finally the malware analysis crash course is ready and it is time to learn it. I'll try to cover as much as possible. If I missed anything or for your question, I'll try to make a separate video. So this course is for who are very much interested to learn malware analysis and uh, whoever is planned to start career and cybersecurity and for the beginner manual analysis and thread hunting team. So these are the course content we are going to see in the crash course introduction to the malware analysis so we will just discuss about what is uh, malware analysis and its purpose and everything and all and uh, we will try to set up malware analysis lab setup and uh, so that we can do our all of our investigations analysis in that uh, closed environment suspicious link analysis so whenever you are getting any malware suspicious link uh, i'll be showing you how to analyze that suspicious link uh, without get infecting your machine and uh, you can prevent your infrastructure and you can uh, uh, decode the malware malware traffic analysis so in case if anything is infected how you can uh, analyze the traffic what kind of malware traffic is passing to the which computer so we can uh, do a malware analysis traffic analysis using wireshark and uh, we will see that one creating a yara rule so yara rule is decode the malware and uh, they will do a reverse engineering and just just they will create a rule uh, about the malware how it is works so though they will create it and we will try to create a yara rule by ourselves we'll pick a one malware sample and we'll try to create a yara rule and we will test it how it is works and those things and all Static malware analysis, we will again, we will pick a malware sample and we will use uh, tools and uh, environment. Uh, we will just start analyzing the code uh, and we will do it on it. Uh, dynamic malware analysis, we will try to automate the process and uh, we will analyze the malware, I mean, behaviors, how it is does, how it is works, uh, and codings, what are the codings are there, how it is works, flows is working on it. So we will do a, a deep dive on the automated way kind of thing. Primarily, we will be focusing again on Windows-based malware, but we will try to cover certain level for Linux-based malware. Uh, mainly, we are focusing on Windows-based malware on this crash course because of the malware rate has increased on the windows platform during this year so that's why i plan to do a windows based malware analysis so it will be useful for many uh, people when you complete this crash course you guys will have a good amount of malware analysis skill and knowledge this course completely need a dedication from you to gain a knowledge on it so next we are going to see the introduction to the manual analysis. Let's get started. What is malware? Malware is an abbreviation form of malicious software. It is a software that is specially designed to gain access or damage a computer. Basically, this will happen without a knowledge of owner or uh, unethical hacking. Why do cyber criminals use malware? Tricking a victims into providing a personal data or identity theft, stealing consumer credit cards data or other financial data, assuming control of multiple computers so that they can do a denial of service attacks against other network, infecting computers and using them to mine the bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies infecting the files and demanding for the ransom usually in bitcoin so these are the purpose cyber criminals use malware types of malware virus ransomware scareware worm spyware trojan adware and fileless malware virus virus usually comes as an email attachment that hold a virus payload or part of a malware that perform the malicious action. 
Once you open the file, the device is infected and it does the malicious code. It will be running the malicious code and it doing its purpose, whatever it is designed at. Ransomware. Ransomware is one of the most profitable and most popular type of malware. So what the uh, attackers will be doing here is attacker will, will be infecting the uh, computer and they will be encrypting the files and the request for the ransom to decrypt the files. If suppose you're not giving the money, they will destroy the files as it is. Scareware. Scareware, cyber criminals scare us to purchase a fake applications. In typical scareware example, you might see an alerting message like while you're browsing, right? So you can see that there will be a warning, your computer is infected or you have a virus, please scan it to just purchase this one. So these kind of, uh, you can see the fake applications will be advertised meaning by the cyber criminal. Cyber criminals use these programs and unethical advertisement practice to threaten users into purchasing the rogue application. WOM. WOM have an ability to copy themselves from mission to mission via internet and exploit some sort of security weakness in the software or operating systems and it doesn't require any user interaction to function. So once it is your WOM is inside your computer, it automatically does. You no need to do anything. Automatically it will act accordingly. Spyware. Spyware is a program installed on your computer to monitor all form of communication on targeted devices. Spyware is often used by law enforcement, government agencies and information security organization to test and monitor communication in a sensitive environment or for the investigation. Typical example, key locker. It will capture a key, all your key stocks and send to the attacker. Trojan. Trojan, it looks like a harmless application. Once up and running, they can steal personal data, crash a service, spy on activities, injection, other malware program or even it can launch an attack. Adware. Adware program push unwanted advertisements so that when you are browsing you can see that unwanted advertisements will be uh, they are typically displaying a blinking advertisements or pop-up window when you perform a certain actions. Fileless malware. Fileless malware is a type of malicious software that use legitimate program to infect a computer. Fileless malware leaves no malware file to scan and no malicious process to detect. Basically, there is no footprint of it. And also, it's very challenging to detect and remove of it. What is malware analysis? Malware analysis is a process of understanding the behavior and the purpose of the suspicious file or the URL. The output of analysis aids in the detections and mitigation of the potential threat. What is the purpose of malware analysis? To understand the malware behavior and the scope of the functionality of the malware how the system was infected with the malware so basically we will be analyzing the source whether it is an email or it is a via where we are browsing something it just came into your machines or just the way of the source of analyzing so how it is came and to understand the malware design and workflow of it and basically after investigations it will help us to generate the signature to prevent from the future detections of these malware. It also improve the efficiency of IOC, indicator of compromise, alert and notification. Types of malware analysis, static analysis, dynamic analysis and hybrid analysis. Static analysis is analyzing the malware, you don't need to run it. So basically you will be analyzing or identifying the file names, hash, hash values, Stings such as like IP address, domain, and file header can be used and determine what kind of file it is malicious. Those things, you know, you can help it. It will analyze the malware without actually running it in order to collect information on how the malware works. Without running, you can collect all the details. It's a basically static analysis is manual. You have to do it one by one. You don't analyze the codes and everything and all. Dynamic analysis. Analyze the malware functionality by running in a sandbox environment. So you will be allowing the malware to run it and in the background you will be seeing it. So what kind of uh, what is actually doing it, whether it is installing any program or it is opening a, a remote shell port number to the attacker machines or it is uh, whatever changes are doing in this machine. So you can just in a background you can analyze it. It's completely automated one.
Hybrid analysis, it includes both of technique like static and analysis, dynamic analysis, because in certain uh, sophisticated malicious code, right? So they will know, okay, this is running in a sandbox technology or something. So by we have to combine the basics and dynamic analysis technique uh, to analyze those sophisticated malicious code and we need to uh, get the IOC. That's pretty much I want to cover it in this video. I hope it is a decent introduction to the malware analysis crash course. So in the next video, I'll be showing how to set a malware analysis lab environment. Step by step, I'll be walking with you guys. I hope you guys like this video. Show your support by giving like, comment and by subscribing the channel. I'll see you soon on next video. Bye. Take care.